Hello world, this is what's up 290 and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to easily check the temperature of a Windows computer and also how to tell if it's overheating. So basically what you're going to want to do is go to the of a program called CPU Thermometer. Now you will need to download this application because there's no actual way that there's no actual method that Windows will actually let you display the current CPU temperature on the temperature of your computer or just by like searching it or anything like that. However, Windows actually does send the, send the uh, CPU temperature, the current CPU temperature to the computer around the hardware, BIOS, and all that. So the computer knows what temperature it is, but is roughly, but there's no way you can really check it without this, without a program like this. So what you're going to want, so once you have it, what you're going to want to do is just run the installer and it'll come to a window that looks like this. It will show you how much CPU and then right up here it will show each processor. Now, what's a good temperature for my computer to be at? Well, generally speaking, it'll be around 40 to 50 degrees. As, and that's considering, like, if you're running programs on it, and, it, it, like, if you're running programs on it, well, then, uh, um, you, know, you know, it'll be around that. If you're running, like, absolutely no processes at all, like, in the operating system is the only thing that it's running, well, then like 25 to 30 degrees might be what it's going down to, which that's, that's a, you know, that 30, 32 degrees is freezing. So, you know, 50 degrees is, is actually pretty decent. 40, 40 to 50 degrees is actually pretty decent, which is what your computer should be on, roughly on if you're just running like normal programs and all, normal applications and all that. Well, then... Of course, you know, if you're running, if you, if you run, like, super big, like, games and programs that can take up quite a bit of a processing power, like animation programs, video editing software, games, all that, well, then that can cause it to jump up to, like, 70 degrees, you know, the processors having to work harder to run those programs, ETC. But what temperature is too hot? I would say that the temperature you want you want to start watching out for is if it gets up to like 90 to 100 degrees cuz that's like super super hot. And if it if you if it's running at that to like 90 to 100, 100 degrees for like a long time, then that can potentially cause it to melt that can be uh, physically harmful to the machine. It can cause the uh, it could cause the CPU to overheat and not work correctly or melt or something like that. You don't want that to happen. Well, if, you're, if, if your computer is running, if you think that you're running a program that is uh, causing it to, uh, um, causing the CPU to act like that and get that hot, well then, um, what you can do is open up your task manager and, uh, you know, here, and then, sorry, all the running programs here, but if you click files, what will happen is it will then show every single process and background process that's running on your computer. Here, and it will show how much, how much CPU usage is currently going on, and if you the list of currently running programs and background programs currently running on your machine it will then call, it will then um, list uh, how much of the CPU and well as your memory RAM your computer's running well then and if, and if a computer and if a, and if a program is or process is running like a really high uh, percentage of CPU, well, then that could be what's causing the issue. So what I would suggest doing is clicking it, 
task, and then that'll stop, that'll shut off the process. And then if your and if your computer goes normal, um, sort of normal uh, core temperature, check it again using this program, and then that will call, and then that will mean that that application was indeed what what was causing the issue. Now I'm gonna tell you about this right now. I'm not sure about all, but a lot of computers actually do kind of have like a, a, a sort of a fail-safe mechani mechanism in them where like if they get too hot, they'll automatically shut down to prevent damage to the CPU, which that's actually a good thing. But I'm not sure if all computers have that. This one does, but I'm not sure if all of them have that. So... You know, keep that in mind. So anyway, well, you can, if that's still happening and there's no big programs running, well, then what you can do is you can uh, um, sort of uh, what what you can do is you can check to make sure your computer's fans are running correctly. What if your computer's fans are not coolers are not running correctly? Well, then your CPU is not having any way of properly cooling down from being from from heat, and this can cause it to get super hot and overheat as well. So you know, check and see if your computer's fans have any dust in them. If they do, try and blow that dust out using a fan or you know, screwdriver or something like that, and then that should resolve the issue. I would suggest not using your computer in areas that have a lot of dust around them as well because what can happen is your is a dust can get inside the coolers or fans and this in turn can cause the cause them to not spin correctly and can cause your CPU to overheat because its coolers are not working correctly. So that's about it for this video. If you enjoy, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. What's up to a night? This is what's up. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next time.